Hey y'all, thanks for joining me today. So, uh, I think my last video or video before that, I was showing how I struggled putting a new pump on here, the AR45. Uh, so if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that video, then watch this one. Because I was saying that my very first pump I put on two, two and a half years ago leaked from the get-go. Uh, so my very first pump was leaking right here and it was shooting water up about this high, like this. And I tightened up the manifold bolts and uh, they were already tight, but I went, you know, like, you know, one more flat and no different. <clears throat> so... So I wasn't happy about that, but um, AR did send me six uh, O-rings, so I changed those out. But the issue I found was when I took it off, this plastic where it was molded had a piece of flash, plastic flash that was sticking out, and that's what made it not seal. So that's a quality control problem right there. So when I put this pump on, I was happy I didn't see any leaks at the time so I have about eight hours on this pump and yesterday I walk over back to the trailer to uh, change my percentage of chem because I was going from stucco to vinyl and is leaking out of this uh, valve area here on the manifold and to top it off I was only running 250 pounds because it was a hip roof single story I didn't need 290 pounds so I was running 250 pounds and so I'm going to show you the drip it's not bad but it is leaking and any leak is a problem when you pay that kind of money for these pumps so you know I, it would be so easy at the factory to assemble these pumps and let's say put 400 pounds of pressure on it and so any of those issues can be caught before they are sent out to the consumer so I'm not happy so i'm going to start it up here and you won't hear anything because of you know the engine noise but i'm going to show you the drip my problem that's either going to get well it's probably going to get worse I was going to say get better but normally leaks don't get better so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this manifold off make sure there's no plastic flash there clean it up and, I, and put a new o-ring on it but this thing is virtually brand new I was talking about changing over to the uh, the D the high pro d30 or the d50 because sometimes I need maybe an extra hundred pounds to reach some of these peaks that I wash uh, without getting a ladder out and standing on the ladder you know it's dangerous so um, and one of my uh, savvy subscribers mentioned that hey as you know as soon as you get over 300 pounds you're gonna start blowing hoses and I I know that's true because if I run around 290 pounds every once in a while even though I think my barb fitting is tight I'll blow, I'll blow it, and then I cut off two or three inches, put it back on, I'm good for a while. So the issue that I have is, like, I bought 600 pound hose. This is 600 pounds right here. Where is it, right there, 600 pounds. But the hose is rated at 600 pounds, and the D30 and the D50 pump, I think is, rated output of 560 or 580 pounds I think it's 560 anyway uh, substantially over 300 so I'm like well I am going to start blowing fittings blowing hoses off of fittings just like my subscriber said and I can't think of his name uh, but you know I read most every single comment so it's all helpful so I decided I had a 
if I change over to one of those pumps, I'd have a fitting issue. Uh, so I went to a hydraulic store yesterday just to see if they had anything they could tell me or whatever. And, and so they told me that barb fittings with two hose clamps is only rated up to 300 pounds. So that all makes sense to me now. Uh, why possibly these pumps are only rated to 290 pounds because they know the barb fitting can only hold 300 so but that's not a that's not a big window of error right there so I, I took in you know the hose and I asked them if they had anything that they could help me out on and they said oh sure we have we have a 5,000 pound fitting we can crimp on there of course the hose isn't rated at 5,000 pounds but uh, so I I bought a fitting and they crimped it on and it's beautiful so you know it just it's just awesome so, so I think that if I'm running you know anything 600 pounds or less this fitting will be just fine and now I have been looking online to, to buy my own crimper and fittings um, just so I can do field service and, and make up my own hoses but at this hydraulic place that they charged me eleven dollars for this fitting with a uh, free installation so if they weren't an hour away I might just run by there and and have them do it but some of the crimpers are only about hundred and twenty bucks uh, so I'm, I'm I'm deciding on that so what I want to know is you guys watching that that do have a d30 and I believe Eric uh, Eric I think it's Eric's carpet cleaning um, smart guy he's got a d30 uh, and he he said he bought the d30 after he saw that I had issues with the AR45 so what I want to know Eric and others that have the d30 or a d50 how how far does that shoot straight up in the air um, because a lot of times when you lose volume even though you have pressure the stream of water isn't heavy enough to carry a distance so uh, the d30 is rated for like nine gallons a minute and this one's rated I think at 11.4 so I just want to know uh, even if it takes me another 30 seconds to rinse per side, I don't care. I just want a little more distance and more reliability. And those pumps are, the D30 and D50 are completely, uh, they're a completely different design. And so I don't know what the longevity is of those or if they individually have issues, but you can't hardly really find anything on YouTube. So anyway, so that's my video. So if you guys have any insight, leave a comment down below. I'll read it. Take care. Thanks for uh, watching. Please subscribe and, and like my videos.